morning children welcome to class 5 social studies so continuing with the topic of map and globe children in today's class we are going to see about the conventional signs and symbols on a map see children you could have observed so many things on you when you go out like a railway station airport post office bank temple church a big buildings okay any landmark or a supermarket like that. okay so how do you uh, show that on a map chip so for that some signs and symbols are there chip so tree means you know how to draw a outline of a tree you will draw so like that some of the things are there which you can be easily shown in a map chip so that one we are going to see today so first one which is given in your book is a international boundary so you can see a highfield lines okay in red color so international boundary chain international boundary that is border between two countries okay so that one is shown in a highfield little length in the one chain highfield the next one is state boundary within states children so india has so many states no so within the state the boundaries are shown with a green color and with gap children see more gap can be observed with the highfield lights then metal the road okay so metal the road you have a line like this it shows that it is a metal the road children so you could have learned the kacha road and pakka road so metal the road is pakka road so it will be shown on the map like this children the next you have the forest area so forest means a green color tree like that it will be shown children okay so it mentions that it is a forest area the next one is capital city so capital city is shown by a dot in the center of a circle like this means it is a city the next one temple children so so in your textbook you can observe children a temple is being shown over here a church children and then post office with the symbol of p o otherwise that post box is there but that one also can be shown children the next one is police station so p s okay the two letters uh, from the two words they have taken children so post post office is p o and police station is p s children the next one is railway track okay so railway track you have seen children so it is shown on the map like this okay so it is very like with the fencing like this okay this shows that it is a railway track chain the next to one river so you know it's a blue color wavy line so in your physical map you could have observed children that uh, all the rivers okay it is shown with a blue color line children okay you can observe in a physical map all the rivers are being shown in the blue color wavy line children so these are the symbols easily we can recognize children a railway track has got a symbol like this a international boundary has got a uh, sign like this okay so it will be very easy for you children so it is given in the book you can take and see children the next one is colors of a map okay colors of a map so in map different colors are used children okay main colors used are brown blue okay white yellow green so in the shades of these colors we have to identify which area or the land form it is okay so colors of a map chip colors of a map okay so we show uh, col uh, colors so a key is given to understand what each color and symbol means okay sometimes a 
mountain will be there desert rivers oceans seas or uh, snow capped mountains so they use some colors children so that one we are going to see now so uh, it, the colors can shade from dark to light children so i will show you in this physical map so you can see it in your textbook page number 9 see observe here children this is a physical map observe here first in the jammu kashmir region you have a white that mentions it, it is a snow capped region okay snow is covered over there then you have the light brown and a dark brown so the dark brown indicates it is high altitude mountains okay like mount everest more than 6000 meters high chill okay and the next one is a light brown okay it also shows mountains hills and all but lesser in height okay then observe here children um high mountains are shown in dark brown and the low mountains and plateaus are shown in light brown children so these are all this is a southern plateau you know so these are all are shown in the light brown children and then the snow capped region is shown in white and then next one yellow yellow shows the dry areas children okay yellow color shows the dry areas or desert also you can take children the next one observe this blue color children once uh, in the way of the this part it is dark blue this side also dark blue when it is near the coast it is light blue children observe here where we go near the land mass it is light in color light blue so the dark blue shows that is deep water deep water means the depth of the water is very uh, high or more okay uh, then the light blue shows the shallow areas so that is not much deeper children okay so two things one is dark blue shows the depth of deep water okay on the light blue shows uh, shallow water the, the water depth height is there no it is less okay so uh, see how for mountains we tell uh, higher that is uh, very high altitude mountains yes like the down the surface of water below the water there also it is deep children okay more than uh, himalayas height okay the mount everest height in the Pacific Ocean and all, or an Atlantic Ocean and all, you have the deepest trench children. Okay, deepest trench you have. That is Mariana Trench. It's nearly about ten kilometers deep children. Okay, so uh, that much uh, it is our Earth planet has different landforms children. Okay, it is very interesting and exciting also. Okay. and the next one the plains and the low lands are shown in green plain regions wherever the river flows so children observe that this green color part is there no there and all this ganga and its tributaries flow see this side brahmaputra will come and join over here so that's why it is all green and fertile children the same way you can observe here this part green color and in the eastern coast also you can observe this green color children so these are plains and low lands low lands means normal level high uh, no in that below that level you no know, the land is that means it is called as low level land children okay so in today's class we discussed about the conventional signs shown on a map and how colors are used in a map so take your textbook and read it children it's all very interesting